Guess what? It's April, and it's time for your tarot reading. I'm sorry I lost my voice. That's why they're a little bit late, and that's also why it sounds like shit, but let's get started. Hi, Libra. Welcome to April. We are going to look at your social life, your emotional state, um, your career, your money, your love life. Whether you're single, coupled, or in an undefined relationship, which could be polyamorous, back and forth, like on and off again. Maybe you just met and you're talking to somebody. Maybe, um, you know, it's like a long-standing crush. Whatever. That's what we are going to talk about. Um, basically, before we... They just like are throwing cards out before I get to finishing what I wanted to say. <laughs> and they're like... Um, for those of you who are feeling kind of sad or unhappy, you're right. Things aren't fair. But, like, we don't get to choose what happens to us. We just get to choose our reaction to it. So, like, what are you going to do about it? What are you going to do that's going to make you excited? What, you know, like, don't don't tell yourself that it's not going to be a successful thing for you. That no matter what, you're going to lose because it's just not the case. So that's a specific message maybe for one of you. I don't know. Um, anyway. So then after all of those topics we're going to cover, we're going to get to do an affirmation card. And I know some of you are like, positive affirmation. Uh. Um, but you might want to stick around for that part anyway, just because sometimes it pulls back something and gives us more information. Sometimes I pull more cards on it about, you know, something that happens um, for you this month. And because the affirmations for everybody at the end there. Um, I'm not doing lucky days this month or the power crystals. Uh, I mean, I am still doing them, but I'm not doing them in the reading because I had lost my voice, which is why they're late. I'm trying to save it the best that I can um, so that we're not late with May readings. And so those will go out in an email probably. So if you're not on my email list, um, that's a good reason to join if you care about that stuff. But a better reason to join is because I only send one email a month, which is like nothing. And... That's how you get signed up to win the 20-minute video reading that I give away every month for free. So, let's get started. Um, socially, what's up? They're like, okay, so there are some things that are not being said um, where you're not being assertive and maybe you need to be. And it's because you're such a sweet person. <laughs> like, you're trying to just be loving. You know, it's not like you're tiptoeing around the situation, but you're, like, trying to... Just be this like loving and kind Libra person that you are, that everybody loves. Um, you don't want to come across bitchy, but sometimes it's required. So basically what they say about that is like, look, you're not really helping anybody not other people and definitely not yourself by handling it this way. It's okay. So it's not like saying be a horrible, abusive monster in the way that you draw a line in the sand with somebody. No. What, but what it is saying is it's like we can't sugarcoat everything and we can't just avoid everything. Sometimes we need to be very assertive and direct and clear and not necessarily in the most coddling, loving way because otherwise sometimes people don't get it or they don't respect our boundaries, things like that. So this is important for you. It's not – you're not doing anybody any favors. So, for example, in a breakup, it's like, well, you know, I just – I'm too busy and like I just don't really see this working out right now, but maybe someday down the road. If you know it's not someday down the road, you didn't suffer in the blow, you didn't help anybody. The only thing that you did is create a situation in which they're going to hold out hope and not move on to somebody who actually wants to be with them and also created a situation in which they can start annoying you down the road, right? And then you're going to have to have the conversation again and this time more assertively. So anyway, things like that. So that's social. <laughs> Anything else about your social life in April? They go, look, people are going to try to give you love, try to be kind to you, compliment you. You know, there's like all these blessings around for you, but you don't really notice them. You don't really see them. Um, you might be a little bit confused and not necessarily paying attention. So how do you get past that? They go, well, it's not really like this tough emotional work. It's just like kind of paying attention. Um, you might be a little bit lost in your thought, being a little bit too left brain this month. Like, you know, thinking, 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 thinking. And um, I mean, because you're so brilliant, but this is kind of a month to maybe 
keep your eyes open and focus on one thing at a time, being very mindful of certain things. You know, like I'm not going to drive and listen to my book on Audible as I do it. I'm just going to sit down on the couch and listen to my book and not also paint my nails or I'm just going to drive, you know, things like that. Um, trying to do one thing at a time, which I know is hard sometimes, but they're like, this is where like you can be really, really honest with yourself and where you can really see what is coming for you and the blessings that are like right here around you that are yours for the taking. Um, and they're worth taking. So emotionally, what's up? They go, some of you have that resistance energy, like I mentioned in the social aspect where like maybe you're pushing some things away. And a lot of the reason why is because you are trying to hide the fact that um, you can be a little bit judgmental sometimes, okay? You don't want people to judge the fact that you can be judgy. Now, a lot of you are not judgmental, like as Libras is not necessarily your nature, right? And you would even call it discerning, and that's a healthy thing. But what they're saying is like, you have to really look at things and understand that like everybody's growth and like everything we do, like it takes a different amount of time for everybody. Um, and it's okay if it takes a while for you, but we want to sort of like clear the fog and get really clear on what is it that we desire? What is it that we want? What is it that doesn't work for us? What is it that is our priority? Things like that. And then make those and really like asking yourself more than anything, why do I care what other people think? Why do I want people to view me a certain way? And it's not like you're being fake or it's not like you're being um, like like you're not being a genuine person, but it's like, why, why am I caring so much right now at least? Like you want to come across a certain way, right? And um, it might not be authentically who you are, just who you think you're supposed to be. So I want you to think about it this way. Like, so you know how sometimes – we say like, well, I should do this um, instead of, well, I'm going to do this. It's because it's not even our thought. Like it's not even our desire. It's not our true want. It's because somebody implanted it in our mind. This is what we should want, right? And so this is going to be maybe kind of a, it's not like a heavy month, but it's just this kind of like thinky month for you guys. Okay. So what's going on in your career? And they say everything's working out exactly as it should. Same as usual. Um, pretty balanced. If things were previously imbalanced, they kind of come back into balance. It's very Libra energy. Everything works out fair. You know, um, everything is pretty much as it should be. Uh, but this might be the area in which, you know, it's easier to be more assertive. Um, and this might be where you kind of get good practice at saying, here's what I'm going to do. Here's what I'm not going to do. You know, maybe somebody comes and says, hey, can you do this task? And you're like, honestly, I'm a little bit overwhelmed. Um, I appreciate that you trust that I have the capability to do this and to do it well. But could you delegate that to somebody else? Um, you know, practicing assertively being like, mm, this is a problem in a work situation is going to make you more adept at doing those things in social situations. Um, what's up with your money? They go, nothing to really be too disappointed about. This is a good time to manifest more abundance, more money into your life. And um, really think about what it is that you want way down the road as well as like on the way to that longer term goal. And to be very specific actually, because this is a fantastic month to kind of get the ball rolling and to get the things that you want. So you can't just say like, oh, I want more money. Because you know what? When you find a penny on the ground, you manifested that. You were not specific enough. Guess what? You got more money. <laughs> things Okay. So this is a fantastic month for you to start drawing in all of the, the wealth and abundance that you want, but you have to be very specific about how that, or about what those goals are, like now and in the future. Okay. In regards to your love life, if you're a single Libra, they're like, you know, whatever didn't work out was for a reason. It wasn't meant to be. Um, they go, and like, honestly, you've done a lot of healing and the healing just kind of continues this month. As far as future prospects go, they're like, you know, the thing is, is like, maybe the people that you'll meet this month are not in the most, like the ones who would be interesting anyway, or appealing in a lot of ways are maybe not the most like stable kind of relationship. So like this person's really fun and really sexy, but like... 
they're kind of a job hopper. It makes me a little nervous. That's kind of what you're attracting this month, unfortunately. Um, and so they're like, you know, if, if you kind of want to think a little bit more about what you want in a partner in terms of like day to day life and routines and like realities, um, instead of like, oh, well, I want him to be handsome and I want him to be rich and I want him to be smart and I want him to be funny. It's like, I want him to be an early riser because I am. I want him to be a heavy sleeper because I snore and I don't want him to notice. You know, like more of like day to day kind of stuff. I want him to love to cook because I hate it. <laughs> Those sorts of things, okay? As far as like trying to attract a new partner, that's going to be the most successful avenue. They're like, you know, as far as like sexual stuff goes, this might be a little bit more of a dry month for you, unfortunately. And it's not because you can't get laid if you don't want to, but it's like you don't really want to waste your energy on anybody that doesn't seem long term. Now, for those of you who are coupled, they're like, this is an awesome month for communication. This is an awesome month for honesty. Um, and, you know, like, sure, there's going to be some unfortunate circumstances and things that might happen, but you're able to really very clearly communicate and express your ideas to your partner, um, especially when things are not going well or when you're kind of in a pickle. Whether you decide to work that out together, whether you decide to part ways, this is going to be a very eye-opening month, and this is actually the catalyst to helping you get what you want um, for your relationship and for, you know, like anything in the longer-term future. So fantastic. And for those of you in undefined situations, what I'm getting here is like you might not be feeling 100% confident this month, but you should also be thinking about what it is you want in the short term as well as the long term. They're saying that um, you've got a little bit of resistance energy here, blocking yourself um, from what you might potentially desire. Um, and so this maybe, maybe doesn't apply to most of you, but a good example that I like to use often is like you might say, I want a committed relationship, but then you might also say, well, I'm a single mom. And so do you see how you are not in alignment with a committed um, partnership where, you know, you're, you work as a family, as a team, because you've identified who you are at your core as all of these wonderful things that single moms, you know, um, embody. You're independent. You're hardworking. You're reliable. You're, you know, girl power. But that does not align with a partner who is helpful, you know, who's going to maybe take care of you a little bit because you said, I'm single, I do this on my own. So these are the kind of things where it's like, okay, I'm thinking about what I want. Why am I not getting it? Because something else is blocking it and pushing it away. And you've got that kind of situation going on here in your uh, relationships or the relationships you're trying to have or your not relationships because you're undefined. Um, they're saying this is going to create a lot of emotional imbalance and frustration for you, and it's going to deplete your confidence. And so we're going to want to kind of deep dive into that, and that's hard for me to do in a general reading. A um, personal reading might be a better area for that. But they're like, um, you know, think about very slowly, like over the course of this entire month, every day, try to think about where are you making judgments and where are those coming from? You know, so if I'm like, man, this person that I'm interested in, like, they don't um, communicate very well. Okay, so I decided, like, for my personal taste, they're not a good communicator. Where does that judgment come from? What does a good communicator look like? Um, so if I want a good communicator in my life, am I also a good communicator? Right? Or not. Because I can't have these like kind of lofty expectations, like if I'm not going to contribute in the same way, if I'm not going to like reflect on myself. So thinking about the judgments that you make and how they might be a mirror for yourself, which isn't easy to do, but take your time with it because it's going to benefit you. You know, don't judge yourself for going slow with that. Um, they're saying like, yeah, but this is like not necessarily this month where you're like feeling totally on top of your game and super sexy. It might be a little bit more challenging for um, those in undefined situations than the rest of the Libras love wise. So they're saying, you know, you just might not feel totally satisfied, but also like you can't move on from things. And so you want to ask yourself, like, where does that attachment come from? And um, then focus on, you know, the positive aspects of all of these things that you can discern. Now, 
Um, affirmations for Libras. What do I get here? I think big. Isn't this cool? Because they're saying think long term, think big, short term and long term goals. What do I want? What am I trying to manifest? I think big and then I allow myself to accept even more good from life. Yes. So you remember that card with the girl and like the universe is trying to give her all these cups and she's got her eyes closed? Open them. Think big for what you want now and also later down the road in every area of your life because you can have it. You just have to um, start accepting the good and therefore once you're doing that, attracting more good because you know you can do it. I love you so much and I'll see you in May. Thanks so much for watching this video and getting all the way to the end of it. I really appreciate your support. If you are interested in other videos, click here. If you are interested in subscribing, go ahead and click here. Hit that notification bell so that you get alerted to when new videos come out and also when I do surprise live streams. And then if you're interested in winning a free 20 minute video uh, reading personally every month, go ahead and click right here. Mwah!